Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in our last video, we completed the model for this knife. And today we are going to texture it in Substance Painter. So as usual, we'll start by creating a new project. So create a new project and uh, import your knife model. So select the resolution and I'm taking 2048 for this knife. And uh, I'm keeping my normal map format to OpenGL. Hit OK. Now go to texture set settings and in the bake mesh maps again select your output size and select this use low poly mesh as high poly mesh also this apply diffusion and I'll take the anti aliasing for this one 2x2 two two. and you can go to this AO section and increase the secondary rays to 128 and select this apply to all and click on this bake selected textures so it's going to take a few minutes so i'm gonna skip this part so our maps are done now go to this shader settings and uh, click here then select this pbr metal rough and remove these emissive and opacity layer because we don't need them now go to texture set settings and we'll start with this wood handle go to layers and delete this empty layer and for this handle uh, we are going to use this american wood so drop it in the layers and uh, let's change the rotation for this material 90 Maybe change the scale to 2 and layers to 1. Open the technical parameter and uh, increase the contrast a little bit and decrease the luminosity. Now take a new fill layer and add a black mask and add a fill to it. Now open this grayscale and search for wood and use this wood one. And rotate it. Then change the projection to triplanar. Add some skill go to this fill layer and uh, turn off this emissive and opacity now in the height uh, add minus 0 0.05 and change its color uh, make it a little bit darker Something like this. Add a little bit of roughness to it, uh, keep it 0 0.4. Now take another fill layer and add a black mask again, add a fill to it and search for scratches. Select this scratch, go to this fill layer and uh, add minus 0 0.1 to the height or minus 0 0.2. Now increase the roughness to 0 
also change the color to something like this open this grunge map and uh, decrease the balance keep it 0 0.3 now take another fill layer and add black mask then add fill and uh, search for anisotropic noise and select this noise here and uh, now rotate it to 90 scale it to 10 go back to this fill layer and in the height add minus 0 0.05 and again change the color to something like this Uh, add a little bit of roughness keep it 0 0.4 or 0 0.45 now add another fill layer and uh, add black mask then add a generator and select this dirt Increase the dirt level Go back to this fill layer and increase the roughness to 0 0.8 And change the color Also decrease the opacity a little bit like this. Now in the materials, select this large rust and drop it in your layers and scale it a little bit like this. Change its color, make it darker. Or something like this. Add a black mask and add a paint. And paint like this, just on the top here. Now one more time select this large rust and drop it in the layers and this time let's rotate it and scale it down Add a black mask and add a paint and start painting down here like this so we are pretty much done with the handle let's go to texture set list and start working on our blade Go to metal and go back to layers delete this empty layer and take a new fill layer and change this metallic to one and turn down the roughness keep it 0.15 
take a new fill layer and uh, disable the color height metal and normal and rename it surface roughness add a black mask and add a fill and in your grunge map search for clouds select this cloud too and drop it in your fill and you'll see this subtle roughness on the surface of this blade now take another fill layer and this time disable the color roughness normal and metal decrease the height to minus 0.1 and this time we are going to use our stencils to add some engraving in our blade so add a black mask and add a paint now in this paint scroll down and here you'll see this stencils and uh, you can use this knife stencil you can download this texture from the link in the description so drop it here and uh, press s rotate it like this zoom in and uh, let's try to add something here it's too big so let's add it here and paint over it like this now zoom in again and uh, we want this text to be small so place it here like this decrease your brush size and paint on this one and uh, this stainless should go here like this and we are done with this stencil so go back here and we have added the text so take a new fill layer and uh, this time add a black mask and add a fill in this fill uh, select this anisotropic noise and drop it in this fill here Change the projection to tri planner and uh, increase the scale. Let's add 10. Go back to this fill layer and increase the metalness to 1 and roughness to 0 0.2. Take a new fill layer and uh, keep these settings like this for now. Add a black mask and uh, add a generator. Select this uh, metal edge well. Go back. So increase the metalness to 1 and uh, roughness a little bit to 0 0.4. Go back to this metal edge well. Increase the well level just a little bit. Something like this. Also decrease the contrast to 0 0.4. Now let's add some dirt. So take a new fill layer. And increase the roughness to 0 0.7. Add a black mask and uh, remove this stencil. Add a fill and scroll down. Let's search for something suitable for this. So select this uh, grunge plaster crack, drop it in the fill, decrease the balance. and go back now you can change the color to something like this
and uh, go to this grunge map decrease the opacity so we are pretty much done with the texturing that's it for today's video and if you like this tutorial then you can subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video till then thanks for watching